Hello, everybody, and welcome to the esteemed gentleman podcast for Wednesday, June 2nd. I'm your host, Scott Labrie, joined alongside me in person this time. We have Uncle T-Bag, Tyler Sunt. Hello. 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 And we have all day Eric DeShane as well on the couch. Hello, hello. (laughs) We are back in T-Bag's Tavern, as we like to call this place. (laughs) As uh, we are now in stage one, so I guess, what are we, we're like a... We're like a health and wellness <laughs> facility yeah, or something like that. Well, that's technically right. it's for, for work, so we should be allowed for all this yeah. stuff. That's right. So, yeah. yeah. And we got our vaccinations. Oh. Yeah. So we're good. We're, yeah. Good. Yeah. we're yeah. immune to the virus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Some side effects, but I mean, I'm not walking up, but no big deal. It's not a cure all. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I can't <laughs> fix everything, no. Cool. Well, uh, today we have a, kind of a little bit of special topic and uh, I kind of came up with it, I guess, but it's not really a, like a groundbreaking one. No. But I thought we would uh, do a little no- another pitch video where we talk about uh, video games that we would like to be seen, like to see be made into movies or TV shows. Mm-hmm. And uh, we would yeah. go into if you have any casting people that you want to have or directors or showrunners or anything mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Um, because I don't, you guys haven't really thought about it, so I'll give you some time, I guess. Because I, I, the one I thought of was the other day. I was like, you know what? There was a, a few years ago, there was some rumors about how there was going to be a Netflix series of The Legend of Zelda that was going to be coming to Netflix. Never materialized. I don't even know if it was actually true. It's or probably it was not true. Just even, rumors uh, or whatever. Yeah. But I was thinking, like, you know what? It would be cool to have a Legend of Zelda series. And I was thinking, but you're like, eh, I don't know if I would like a live action series. So I was like, hmm, do like an animated one. But then I was thinking, like, you know, maybe the Castlevania styles and like that's a lot of gory stuff. That's, like that's, not, that's Nintendo, not Legend of Zelda. That's not Nintendo's mo at all. That'd be way yeah. out of their league. Yeah. So I was like thinking, of, like, especially like I was thinking Ocarina of Time because that's one that's my favorite mm-hmm. Legend of Zelda. So like, well, you start off as a kid in that game, and then eventually. You go through some dungeons, eventually you become an adult. And I was like, all right, who could do this really well? And then I was like, uh, the Avatar Studios <laughs> would, yeah. would fucking knock it out of the park, probably. Mm-hmm. And I was just oh, thinking how, like, if you, especially for Ocarina of Time, and I was thinking mm-hmm. you would have, you know, it's if Link would talk or not. And I was like, you know, I think you would have Link speak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you could have him have, you know... Instead of him just being a solo adventure, you can give him buddies like, uh, I forget her name now, on uh, the ranch or whatever in Ocarina of Time. You um, can have... Oh, God. What the hell's her name? The Redhead, right? Yes, the Redhead. Yeah, um, Starts with an M, M, I'm pretty sure. Marin? I think so. Something Marin, like that, yeah. Like that. I think it's Marin. So you could, like have her team up or mm-hmm. Sarah team up with him to like mm-hmm. kind of go on like these adventures. And, uh, and then you get to that midway point where he has to pull... The, Sora, the the master sword, sword yeah. out and it you know flashes forward all of se- uh, to seven years past right in the game so I thought that would make a cool part of the show where it's like almost like a Naruto Naruto Shippuden kind of thing where mm. it's like yeah the first half of the show where it's it's young Link and he has his young friends as like and they're going on the adventure and yeah kind yeah. of thing it's a little bit more like happier and that sort of thing and then all of a sudden he pulls. The sword and... Time skip. Time skip. He's seven years in the future now. It's more gritty. It's more it, mature. And, and like, yeah. shit's gone... Like, Ganondorf has taken over in those yeah. seven years. Like, in the game, like, Lon Lon Ranch, like, mm-hmm. goes to shit. Like, the, the evil uncle takes over. So, you could always have, like... It's like, Link, where'd you go? Like, you disappeared for seven years. And, like, mm-hmm. my uncle, like, took over the ranch. And, you know, you could have, like, those kind of interesting relationships and Link's like yeah, that's only been like mm-hmm. it was a split second like you know yeah, like I just yeah, blinked yeah. what the hell happened yeah. yeah oh I'm intrigued I don't know yeah. the, that story <laughs> that sounds really good to me yeah, I want to see that I, I play the game too so I'm familiar with that and that's not a bad idea but yeah it's I can see that being a very much I like, get the narco style where yeah the early parts are fun kid adventures kind of lighthearted and it's kind of goofy then the time skip happens and yeah mm-hmm. now it's like mature and darker and scarier mm-hmm. times that could be really right. A good thing to play with with that, yeah. Get Peter Jackson and went a workshop in there. <laughs> See, that's Peter Jackson was kind of good, uh, yeah, live action. I don't if, know. if you decide to go live action, that's I think the thing. Like, the, like the one, the problem with like, cause, like, yeah, he could, you know, it's not really the humans that are a big deal. It's like 
the Gorons and like the mm. Zoras and like yeah. how would that look? Like mm. you know, if you're spending like going to the Zoras domain where it's like going to be all CGI all the time, like yeah. if it, it was live action, like, it would be like ninety five percent CGI like all the time. Yeah, <laughs> like the, the Hobbit was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty exactly. much. Yeah. So it's oh, like, yeah. So it's like ah, you might as well just do it animated, and then you can have kind of like a mm. kind of an yeah kind of cooler art style to it maybe or something like that like a definitely i would say more yeah the castlevania style would be very creative for that than that than avatar style because mm-hmm. so it's a little more darker edge not so much but doesn't be the same kind of gory style mm-hmm, but it's right. that, that that animation style where it's, it's more you no know, the deeper highlights in the, in the shading and everything else and the line outlines to hide more of that theme i think that'd be the better option for mm-hmm. something like that yeah so yeah. but i think that'd be awesome to see that but again, like that's the thing too. I was thinking Nintendo licenses are one of those things where they're so secure with how they hold them that they would be really possible with this, unless it's an internal studio doing that kind of animation. You'll never see a Nintendo yeah. show like that, which would suck because all the licenses would be great to see. Like a Metroid one too is one I had in mind as well too. Right. The Metroid series with Samus would be great to see with her with that. Mm. Yeah. yeah, like that's just, but that's a bounty Nintendo. hunter going after. Yeah, space pirates aliens, and yeah. Yeah, giant <laughs> alien creatures and fighting big gooey space brains and yeah, that'd be fun to that's see. This is for a good TV series. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that's different if, bounties per episode. If Nintendo so if Nintendo kind of light, lands up a little bit, maybe we'll see that. But uh, that's not not too much in the future. You never I know. Think. Right? Yeah, never tough know. to see with that. What about, yeah. you, what about you guys? You guys have any uh, games um, you want to see? Um, the one I want to see, well, they're already doing it, is the Resident Evil one. Mm-hmm. I'm both afraid and excited at the same time that they're gonna they're gonna fuck it up and make it more action than than horror. But apparently, according to the the cast and uh, the early reviewers and all that stuff, are saying that it's really rooted in the horror franchise. Mm-hmm. Lots of time spent at the mansion, even though I guess it takes place in the, both the mansion and Raccoon City. Apparently, okay. and I think it's just a movie that's coming out. So it's like, oh man, that's a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, that's why. And two it, monumental movies. There's yeah. a lot of good characters in there. You you gotta you gotta split it up. But um, uh, it was that, and I was thinking about Warhammer too. I think Warhammer would be an incredible series, mm-hmm. but that would be such a big budget, oh. and how many people are gonna want to watch a show about you know? Because yeah, that that would totally be. Steel night, but. Warhammer TV is getting launched. Yes. Where they're going to have their own streaming service, where they're going to have animated CGI live action, like yes. their own thing. But I'm like, I don't know if I'd want to pay subscription because it's, it's it's interesting <laughs> to me, but... Is it worth you know, another five bucks a month kind right? of thing? Right? Yeah. To watch something that's going to be like, yeah. you know, like how much is Games Workshop really spending mm-hmm. if they're even going to be a big part of it or if they're just like farming it out to Ex- different yeah. studios to do it. So it's like, ugh, because the Astartes miniseries, the six-part so series, was well, fucking... Good. Excellent. Yes. I would pay a monthly subscription just to watch yes. a season of that. That, that was, was amazing. Even though I had no idea what the fuck was going on <laughs> the whole time, but it was just beautifully crafted. It was so and like, beautiful and so well done. And it, it was so It good. embodied the whole Grim Dark 40K yeah. universe yeah. so well. It was great to see that. Yeah. But so. the one that I would like to see come to fruition is Metal Gear. It mm. would have to be. The first film to come out would have to be Metal Gear Snake Eater. Or even mm. if they did it the way that they did in the video games where it's kind of... Totally out of order. Totally out of order. Mm -hmm. And then there's like little prologues with each movie that comes out. Mm -hmm. So it's it's tough to say because, uh, well, if you're if we're talking about the Game Boy versions that came out first too, it would be basically like you're going down, you're going to outer heaven to defeat Mm -hmm. Big Boss, and you find out that you're the clone. It's like, oh my god, you know, like whatever. But I think if they started off with uh, with Snake Eater, I think would be amazing. And if you have a big actiony director like say Michael Bay, but mm-hmm. somebody that's pinning the script very well because Michael Bay can do CGI action like mm-hmm. the stealth, the takedowns, the well, you know like as long as still have a like Kojima still in the, in the writing. As long chair, as he's involved, yeah, I think that would be the, fine. With that and yeah. you got good writers, Michael Bay will deliver the visuals mm-hmm. and the actors. You get the right actors and you got the right writer. The correct writer. See, I would even say would be... screw that. I would say start with um, uh, what's the first one they, trans- they put over the GameCube, the one oh, uh, um, solid. Yeah, that's just Metal Gear Solid. Uh, whatever the first one is, and then yeah. It's Twin Snakes. They Twin called Snakes. it when it came out yeah. on the GameCube. Yeah, start with that one, and then like have that being like the, the water feel almost, so that kind of catches on. Then you branch out with your Snake Eater, your Origins, Patriots, Origins. Yeah, because then he finds yeah. out that he's. 
To me, yeah. that was like, the best like encompassing like all around version of Metal Gear. Where yeah, he's fighting his brother, who's like the it's weaker all, like, strain of the cloning process. The whole story yeah. with yeah, with all the bosses too and everything else. I think that was a great tipping point for that. So I, I think if anyone would start, I would start with that. I would think because and then Michael Bay would be perfect for that too. Exactly, it's a lot like The Rock. Right? Exactly. That's, I'm sure he yeah. drew some kind of uh, inspiration. Absolutely, from that movie, for yeah. Sure. It's totally <laughs> like that breaking into a secure facility like that. Yes, yeah. exact same way as Octatraz. Yeah, it's yeah. the same way. Yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah. I think that'd be awesome. But then, who would play Snake though? That's the hard part. That's the hard part. I think because when I when um when Phantom Pain came out and it was Kiefer Sutherland doing the voice, I'm like, oh, yeah. this is bullshit. <laughs> but then it's like, damn, he's good. He's good. And yeah. if we dyed his hair black, got him in there, I think he could pull it off. It'd be somebody young, but he's but yeah. he's he's getting old now, so you'd have to be mm-hmm. somebody that's got a gruff voice, hard around the edges, smokes a lot, tall, John Hamm. Tall. John, Hamm. John Hamm. No, we talked it's about like that. Go-to answer for everything right. now. <laughs> yeah, John Hamm. Actually, he could play pretty much anybody. Mm-hmm. An asshole, a hero, yeah. good guy, bad Goofy guy, goofy guy, fun guy. Yeah, yeah. he's. Yeah. He could be Liquid Snake. No, yeah. no, 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 he's too no, goofy no, for that. no. No, he's too goofy for that. You need yeah. somebody that's. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I think I think Metal Gear would be an awesome, awesome franchise to start the right way and mm-hmm. the right investment, the right studios producing it. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that would be that would be mine. That and Resident Evil. Resident Evil has what to be. It, uh, what's his name? The guy who did Kong Skull Skull Island. Like he's been wanting to do, yeah. do one forever, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I was reading about that because I, I think it was in pre-production. They were writing it and stuff, and then Oscar Isaac was going to be cast to play Snake. And I was like, Oh yeah, but remember he, that? That was yeah, a while ago, yeah, and I don't know ago. what's come of that. I'm like, ah, he's got the dark feet, the look, yeah. I guess. But I. Short guy. He's just a little guy. Like, <laughs> come on, man. The snake's just a, a tall, big, lanky. Uh, yeah, yeah a badass. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Growly, gravelly voice. Mm-hmm. Henry Cavill. Yeah. Yeah. He would be perfect. He's a little big. He's playing Geralt. He may as well play another iconic character. No he shit. He plays all yeah. the icons, man. Yeah. He'd be good. Yeah. yeah. I think. Commander Shepard. Yeah. yeah. Michael Bay and Henry Cavill, man, they could do some damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lot of damage. That's yeah. That's what I would like to see brought to the big screen mm-hmm. in movie form but if they're gonna do it episodic it would have to be anime it would have to be it'd have to be yeah. castlevania style anime oh, yeah. guaranteed would be i think that's probably the cool. closest thing that's yeah. happening i would think so, guaranteed yeah. yeah because that's well each game is like with the cutscenes is six hours the game plays what 20 minutes but the cutscenes are like six hours six long. hours long yeah it's just like it's just basically a moving mm-hmm. picture you just go through the motions and Except for Sneaky, there's a lot more exploration and more cool hidden mm-hmm. stuff you could find. But but yeah, yeah, it was. That's the thing with most of the video games nowadays. Like you watch the their cutscenes alone are two movies together, they're almost four hours on some of them. Right. It's like holy mm-hmm. crap! Because the feature film is this by itself, right? So yeah, and then you get a game like Doom, yeah. where there's like no story. You just walk around killing demons. Yeah, that's all you do. <laughs> I think with when you talk to Samuel Hayden in his office, that's the longest. Yeah. like actual well, whatever. You don't cutscene. even talk to him. You, you just, don't. He just, just talks. stood there. He talks to you. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's great. It's like yeah. no dialogue, no, no choice. It's just like, whatever, yeah, let me go kill. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to destroy the Argent. Oh, you didn't have to do that. And he's just like punching the mic because he doesn't want to talk. He just wants to go kill demons. <laughs> it's like, yes. Oh, yeah. So it, angry. At the very, very, very beginning, too, you see that data, data pad with the video. It's like, oh, fuck it, whatever. Let me just go and load this gun and yeah, walk Yeah, I'm like off. ready yeah. for like an opening video. And it's like, yeah. oh, you're right in it now. Like, yeah. you're, you're fighting already. It's like, holy shit, you literally just woke up and you're punching <laughs> demons in the yeah. face now. Yeah. That was cool, man. That was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Metal Gear and Resident Evil would be mine that mm-hmm. I would love to see. Cool. Brought to life the correct way. Mm-hmm. What about you, Eric? I think I said it before many times on the podcast. It's I would probably say the Overwatch series. Oh, to me, that's still yes. by far the greatest waste. Not waste, I shouldn't say. The greatest missed opportunity by a studio I've ever seen when it comes to an IP that could be so much more than just a, a base multiplayer game. It could yep. be an amazing yep. story because you have the whole lore behind it, the whole story behind it, and the cinema, the cinematics they make for those games. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like It's just... They should start telling streaming It's disgusting, service. yeah. Lizard Plus, subscribe, <laughs> well, and yeah. watch those. I would be all over that. Absolutely. Like, there's Between no. Like, Warcraft I understand, Warcraft. like, they take a lot of time to make those little six, seven minute movies, but have a proper studio behind it and a proper crew with it. You can have so much more than just these little awesome little videos. You can have actual full length series or even mm-hmm. more to movies, right? Like, right. it's they're so beautiful to watch. So yeah. interesting to see in the stories they play, man. It's, it's yeah, great. Yeah, and then, like, not only that, like, 
you know, if if you were to make that a, a TV show or movie, the, mm-hmm. all the merchandising opportunities. Oh my god, which were there already to begin with, yeah. because you see Overwatch and everything anyway. So why the hell right. not capitalize off that? Back in the day, that was the thing when you're making a any movie or whatever else you would make a video game, a cereal brand, a toy brand. A, like look at King Kong. Everything mm-hmm. with it, right? And now making you don't a, see that anymore. Yeah, they yeah. made a video game, which actually was fucking awesome. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. So, but yeah, yeah, like that would be amazing. Like that's the thing with that. That's to me. That's one of those things where Blizzard just had, didn't have enough oversight, and I don't know what they were thinking at the time. It was just the game, and that's it. But they, like, there was an yeah. awesome chance to make something more, and it's like, no, we'll just stick with this one thing, and that's it. So it's like, yeah. I was just thinking about the merchandising that you can make with Overwatch. Oh it's like because you have so many like different characters yes. and oh, such yeah. good characters, like yes. all of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's hard to pick, like, what your favorite video was. Mine was probably Bastion with the robot. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I want one of those. I would have mm-hmm. one of those as a model. Like, a little toy. The gun comes well, even, out whenever he's got the mm-hmm. bird. And, like, I yeah. thought that was fucking beautiful. Even the first time beautiful. seeing, like, characters like, um, oh, Hal Reaper. Like, that is a yeah. badass looking dude. Like, what is right? his story? What is where's, where's his video? Yeah. Or, or, <laughs> but he just kind of shows up and everybody else. Or else's Pharaoh's and... with her giant, like, mech suit and rocket armor and everything else. Like, yeah. this is mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And now, just you play it. It's like, well, what, oh. what's happening? Like, what's the story? And right. Now, after what? It's been six, seven years since it came out. Now we have an actual lore and story behind that can cover yes. the mm-hmm. next game over. But, like, well, why the hell was not there to begin with? Like, this right. should have been all explored and all given. Like, yeah. I just, well. yeah. It's nice to leave it up to True, the imagination but, a little bit, but I mean, if they if they flesh that out too, that that can cause problems. Like if yeah. it's like, oh, everybody wants it, so let's do it, and then it's like, oh, then it's forced, and it's like, yeah. So you got true. these nice little snippets, you know, little teasers like, along Love, the Death way. And robots, it's the yeah. like, same idea. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah that, so. that is true. But yeah, to me, this could have been something that could have been so much oh, more. I agree. Some of those parts, yeah, it totally could be. Yeah, yeah. I even think well, should. most of their Blizzard IPs too, like even Warcraft, Starcraft, <gasps> Starcraft, yeah. <laughs> Like Dude. Warcraft finally got a movie that hit, I think that bombed so bad. I think that's what spooked them off really to any other yeah. future plans because like I don't know what it was, whether it was the production company or the studio involved, the director, how it became so bad. Like what the uh, well, yeah. it was so true to the lore yeah. that the fans of the game liked it, but everybody else was watching. Like what the fuck is happening? Exactly. Like yeah. this is like, and everybody else was like yeah yeah, like the the hardcore fans. Yeah. But it's like there's more than just the fans. Exactly. Like, not everybody plays Warcraft and knows what the fuck's going on. And like, like but- I got the general idea. Mm. I played it before. I was confused on a lot of parts, but I'm like, oh, whatever. It's just like eye candy. Like I mm. understand that the graphics were mm. cool, a little weird, but kind of cool. But yeah, and like, it, yeah, it's a missed chance to be like, oh yeah, well, and they went too too much of the comics where you see them in their armor, what they're using, and how it looks is like, yeah, the big oversized sword and shield, and it was this, very it's like, okay, this the, is so like yeah. child looking almost. It's like mm-hmm. I can't really take this seriously, right? Yeah. So they would have seen more to the more real side. Maybe it was would have been more appealing that way too as well. Yeah, they need to take yeah. more creative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, steps to make it more appealing to more viewers. Mm-hmm. Like, keep it kind of true. Like, with yeah. the blue armor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, that's yeah, cool. Have blue, but not like three it's... times the size of the person wearing yeah, it. Yeah, shoulder like, pads, you know, up like to space their head. marines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but, but I mean, that's also like the World of Warcraft style. That right? is. Exactly. Like, but... exactly. But these, if you do it properly, like in the, in the Astartes thing, because these guys are genetically altered humans that are two times the size of a normal yes. human being wearing mm-hmm. this huge amount of So armor. it makes sense of them doing that, right? But Right, exactly. Yeah. But then it can look. Pretty it goofy. does like look when goofy, you look at the yeah. models in the games, it's yeah. like they're like, dong, 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 but they're like big bubbles running around, and they're like, <laughs> how are they able to like move so freely yeah. when they're just like covered in armor? And it's just like a big walking tank, it shouldn't make sense, very but silly. Yeah, yeah. they're thinking with a grain of salt, but at the same time, yeah. I was like, I don't know about this, but yeah, but I mean, they also don't take themselves very seriously no. either. But they kind of do, but they don't. But mm-hmm. it's silly at how seriously they take themselves, but mm-hmm. that's the whole idea, right? Because mm-hmm. they're so, yeah, but. Yeah. yeah, it's it's tough to say. That's yeah. even like StarCraft too. That's the same thing. Like oh, the yeah. Marines have the big fucking armor, and mm-hmm. the huge helmets and stuff. I remember seeing this, that that cutscene or the cinematography with the Tychus. Is it him getting suited up? Yep. Oh my god! Yeah, that was like that. This looks amazing. The amount yeah. of detail, like yeah. all the little pieces, the foot pieces and legs and whatever, and mm-hmm. that's like that's his prison. Your mm-hmm. prison's gonna go with you now. And, and I think we watched it a thousand times, but that open cinematic with the city. And the tier and the oh with the, the, the tier- zerg zerg and the I guess like tier- that's forty k. I zerg, could honestly yeah. watch that video on repeat. Yeah. that's the Queen of Blades. Yeah, when, yeah, and the zerg attack on the city. Oh my god, just that have, was, that's a th- need that's, more of that. That's what I want. More of that style, and it, you could totally do that. It's just yeah, yeah, so. exactly. Mm-hmm. With the technology nowadays, mm-hmm. they could probably just make that, and you know, like what mm-hmm. came no, first? Sorry. Was it like Blizzard and? Like Warcraft and Starcraft, or did Games Workshop? Games Workshop came Games first. Games Workshop came first. Late, early nineties, yeah. yeah, in nine yeah. ninety. Yeah, and then yeah, it's yeah. Unfortunately, they are copying off of that. Yeah, okay. so yeah, and I think they took a lot of uh, 
ideas and inspiration from Lord of the Rings too. Oh with, yeah, with definitely. The, with the well, fantasy stuff, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I kind of stemmed from Jared Tolkien. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's everyone was kind of copying off some of somebody mm -hmm. else. Oh, all, for sure, it's all yeah. that stuff, right? But yeah. J.R. Tolkien started that whole pretty much, fucking yeah. Yeah, but I mean, and... when you look at like Warhammer and like Warcraft and Warhammer 40k and like Starcraft, Starcraft it's, it's like, like, but exactly, like, especially draw. especially Starcraft and <laughs> 40k, and 40k, it's, it like, it's like, like almost identical. Yeah, you, yeah. you could draw Marines. a line. <laughs> is yeah. that meme where like yeah, copy my homework yeah. but change some changes? Except only, it? yeah, yeah. The only difference is they made them all stupid hillbillies. Yeah. <laughs> And StarCraft instead. <laughs> hey, we're going to take down these earthlings. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. right. And then the, the space Oh, high gothic are... with their all high in British and yeah, accents. Exactly. Yeah. For the emperor. For the emperor. Her heretic must purge. Burn his holy fire. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Heresy. Heresy. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Good stuff. It's it is good fun. Stuff. Yeah. Crazy bastard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You got any more of this guy? Any other I was ones? thinking, oh, like, uh, I don't know, like, God of War. Yeah. Like, well, especially PS4 version, like, such a great game. But, oh, like, I don't know how you do that as a TV show. Well, that's what I'm thinking about, too, as well, because... It would have to be anime if you wanted to make a TV show. Yeah. yeah but, uh, well, live action would be cool, though. Yeah. Zack Snyder. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Heresy. Heresy, yeah. <laughs> No. no. Yeah, I don't want to watch. I mean, it is a, a sad, sappy story, but oh my god, right. Snyder would just make it worse. Jack Snyder presents Legend of Zelda. <laughs> oh my god. It's gratuitous slow mo. Oh my god. He grabs a sword, two hours of slow mo, electricity. <laughs> oh, it's been seven years. Oh my god. Why did you give Link a gun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why is he killing people? Who said Martha? What? <laughs> His name's yeah, his mother's name is Martha. Martha yeah. Why'd you say that name? Why'd you say that name? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Goes to fight the big boss bad guy. Martha. What? <laughs> Stops. Did Why'd you, you say that? Okay, you guys I'm gonna go back that? to my volcano. Oh. Did you see that article where Snyder was in an interview? He said that he pitched a Star Wars movie before I didn't read it. The I Disney it. bought the no. buyout. And now he, apparently he's gonna be making a, a sci fi samurai movie based on his his idea. Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that. It's going to look like Sucker Punch. That's all it's going to be. It's yeah, just going to be it. set in space and he's going to have his whatever. And I've, I've, I've it, thought, I, I don't know where I got the idea in my head. I always thought he was. He's just having fun, man. Yeah, yeah but great. he's having fun, but his movies were fun. Yeah. After watching um, uh, Army of the Dead, it's like, it, no one's having fun in this. Oh, yes, they were. Like, No, that's one thing I felt. Like, it's like, it's all big and like, it should be a, f a fun concept, a fun movie. No one's having fun. It's like, oh, what the hell? Oh, and looking back on his movies, it's like, yeah, it's kind of how he does stuff. No one's having fun. I, oh. like, laughed out loud at the part where no. <laughs> Dave Bautista stabs his wife in the top of the head. And it's just, like, slow motion of him just going. <laughs> and then it, like, cuts, like, to him talking to his daughter, like, I thought you hated me because I stabbed your mom in the head. <laughs> He's like, no, I hate you because you left me and didn't talk to me ever again. It's like, you're fucking retarded. <laughs> he did come across as a complete a fucking idiot. idiot. Yeah, yeah a an he idiot. was a fucking idiot. A I think bit. that's kind of how what he was supposed to play, but he just like, it's like I'm confused <laughs> as to what the character is supposed to be. Like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I liked it. We should so say this for another podcast funny. so we can go on for another <laughs> yeah, hour. Yeah, we could honestly. We could yeah. also yeah. just talk about Army of the Dead. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah we are going to say that uh, I think our next episode here mm -hmm. is uh, going to be us talking about all watched. the stuff we've been watching this last month. We're probably going to mm -hmm. want to do that like at least once a month. Is Somebody's rolling around upstairs. Marbles or something. Marbles going going yeah. upstairs. <laughs> the girls will <laughs> marbles, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we want to do that at least once a month because yeah. you know, we, we enjoy that part of the weekly wrap-up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and I've had uh, some feedback saying that people do like listening to our, did like our weekly wrap up just for the movies that we have watched. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I was they like oh so we make a recommendation people like, oh let's check it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you, so you get that still. So yeah, yeah definitely. That'll be that'll be a good one. Um, yeah, any other uh, movies or I guess um, uh, video games you want to see? Movies, TV. Not so much now because now the ones I want are being made now. Finally, mm -hmm. Mass Effect and Witcher that two like say, uh, two Mass ones like, that could be missed. Uh, another one I can think of maybe would be. Uh, Sky or Elder Scrolls, yeah, Elder Scrolls. yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, because like yeah. after playing Skyrim, I'm like, just how, how much can be, how much can be there? It'd be fun to see that as well, and yeah. more Lord that, more Lord of the Rings style or Game of Thrones style kind of filming right. with that. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I think that'd be a fun one to see. Um, yeah. yeah, but 
But yeah, really, that's kind of else I can think of. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited to see what this Mass Effect project is going to be. Yeah. With good old Henry. Mm-hmm. Henry Cavill. Man, mm-hmm. he's just, yeah. Gotta be, man. Oh. Just can't be stopped. Dude, can't yeah. Be stopped. Him and The Rock, man. Just, they're yeah. going up and up. Yeah. The Rock is Commander Shepard. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne The Rock. I'd still watch it. Oh, absolutely. I'd still watch yeah. it. Yeah. The Rock could be, uh, what's his face from Mass Effect 3? Grunt? Or, no, the, oh. the big buff Vega, do you? Oh, Vega. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But that should be for Fritz Jr. because he played that voice yeah, in him, too. True. So he should do both if he does do that. I guess, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're kind of out of time here. Any uh, final thoughts before we say goodbye? No, Good to be back. So. Yeah, the tavern. Yeah. Good to be yeah. back. Top-notch quality. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Back absolutely. In back with friends again. Yeah. And I hit the record uh, button this time. So. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. You hit the record button. <laughs> Took a few tries, but we got her nailed. We got her figure, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a pro now. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the big time now. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Well, uh, if you're watching here on YouTube, like and subscribe. That would really help us out. Yes, please. And uh, if you're listening on a podcast service like uh, Google or Apple or Spotify, mm-hmm. uh, give us a good old thumbs up, uh, five stars, and subscribe there. And then, of course, head over to our Facebook page. And uh, like our page, and then uh, submit a question for Ask Us Anything please, Monday. Please, yeah. We uh, always appreciate the questions there. We love those. Yes, absolutely. And uh, like I said, we'll be back here Friday with uh, our monthly wrap-up, I guess. Yeah, that'd be a good way to do it, yeah. There you go. Until then, see you later. See you guys. See us.